Hey guys, Coach Carrick here. Hope you've been enjoying the Coastal Carolina content since they have one of the hottest offenses in the game right now and everyone is dying to know more about it. The good news is that someone has already done all the work for you. The 2020 Coastal Carolina Offense Scouting Report is an in-depth study full of information that you won't find anywhere else. This two-part report from Coach Alex Kirby, you'll find nearly 500 pages of information on Coastal Carolina's offense that up until now was only available to the opponents who had to prepare for them. In part one, Coach Kirby gives you the basic overview of this scheme with 101 plays from the Coastal Carolina offense. This segment contains 101 carefully selected Coastal Carolina plays from the 2020 season and examines the nuance behind each and every one of them. In part two, you get the Coastal Carolina Advanced Scouting Report. This thing is the real deal, full of information you can't find anywhere else. Finally, Coach Kirby will be adding even more data in the coming weeks with updates full of extra information. Buy now and you'll automatically get all those updates in your inbox at no extra charge. Best of all, Coach Kirby is giving my viewers a special discount. Get 20% off your order when you go to throwdeeppublishing.com slash flexbone or use the coupon code flexbone20 at checkout. That's flexbone20 at checkout. This offer will not last, so go grab your copy of the 2020 Coastal Carolina Offense Scouting Report today. 98 yards, but again, very efficient. We just saw that highlight the open, that touchdown pass of 22 yards to Shadell Bell. And on the opening play, they'll pick up about nine yards on the run, and that's something else that Jamie... Now, excuse me, second and one, which they have right now, that's a great asset. A quick pass to the sideline. In and out, C.J. Marable off to a good start as well, starting running back for Coastal Carolina. On third down and one, Marable might have gotten it. We'll see if they spot. Uh, Norfolk State jumped into the neutral zone, but no snap, no contact, no penalty. Jacques Harrison in there for the first time. He'll get the handoff. Falls forward for a pickup of one. Going right. Peyton looking left. Fires complete out to the 40-yard line. And out to about the 43-yard. Third down and three as we are just underway. Peyton out of the backfield. Finds Marable. He gets the first down. Spins still on his feet and falls forward to just about the 50-yard line. <laughs> First week against Kansas, 24 carries, career high, 148 yards. And now Peyton's going to keep it, finds room around the left, inside the 30, inside the 25, and whipped out of bounds. And everybody on the 27 yards to be exact. First and 10. And again, just trying to. Flip it out of the consistent. You got to make those kind of plays. He was wide open. That was actually Reese White that he had targeted, the freshman from Sandy Springs, Georgia. And Reese just ran to the sidelines, limping a bit. We'll see if he gets back into the game. And now on second of the year, two conference titles. He was absolutely terrific at Charleston Southern just down the road. Peyton looking to pass, fires it over to the right. A lot of hand fighting over on that right set up to the right of Fred Peyton. It's man coverage. If they go deep and beat their man, it's a touchdown. Instead, they'll run it up the middle on first down and pick up about three yards. There you see the two at the top of the screen. But again, they'll keep it on the ground, get inside Norfolk State territory in the first down for this week. So starting right tackle, not into the game today, but Antoine Loper getting the start. Third down and short. Peyton puts highly in motion. Hands it off to Harrison. He gets inside the 45, down to the 41. Easy pickup on the first down again for Coast. Now they're back in zone coverage, but before it was man coverage and press coverage. We'll see what they do against his zone. Now you know it's man because he went in motion. On first down and 15, Peyton a little dump off. And a good pickup inside the 40-yard line. Threw it to the same guy. Look at it. 
Might have been Aaron Bedgood who made that catch. And this time, Peyton goes down the left sideline looking for Javon Highly, but incomplete. Kind of a flea. Kevin Scardy come out of the funk, and he did with a 41-yarder. He must have read my notes. Third down and six for Coastal Carolina. Peyton looking left and now takes off running. Gets the first down. Still on his feet. And wrestled down inside the 30. Down to the 27-yard line. And that is where Peyton from Sarasota, Florida. We've already seen him the first two games. He'll come in. Fakes the pitch. Runs it up the middle. And a good pickup on first down. He'll get... Bumpner was... A terrific standout player back in high school. 2017, Mr. Football in the state of Florida takes off running up the middle, gets inside the 10-yard line. Carpenter hands it off to Marable. After initial contact, we'll pick up a couple of yards. They fake the jet sweep. Carpenter looking to pass. Now takes off and gets inside the five. And down. Let's see where it is on fourth if they don't get it. Third down and goal. Marable at running back. They hand it off to him, and he is met right at the. Go for it. I love it. Well, they were perfect last week against Kansas. They were first in the Sun Belt last year in fourth down conversions. This on fourth and goal. Carpenter. Rolls right, passes across the middle and incomplete. Looked like Jeremiah Miller, the red shirts have to know. We all know at this point from last year and this year. They're going to call that. When it's gone, when, once the ball's gone, you got to lay off the quarterback. First and goal. Handoff going left side and touchdown, Coastal Carolina. The wife of defensive coordinator Chad, Chad Staggs from what we have been told. I'm impressed. Handoff to Marable. Find some room inside the possession has been dominated by Coastal Carolina. So is the offense. 111 total yards to six for the Shawna Clears. Gotta hurry up. Option left. Marable <laughs> takes a shot at the 20. Not afraid to hit you. It was a collision. First down from the 20. Peyton fires into the end zone. And a lot of pushing. It's not the NFL. You look at a guy. It's a pet. Pass interference in the NFL. Payton looking downfield. Overthrows to Keel Holm. Heck of a job because of two injuries up front. Three wide receivers to the right for Payton. He takes off up the Gets it inside the 15. To get to and stays in at quarterback for Coastal Carolina and first and 10 from the 37 yard line. Jet sweep. Coastal bringing around the right side and being a nice gain on first down. See, I think he ran probably about 40 yards. Yeah, to get six. <laughs> Coastal tries to go up the middle. Loose football. Was his venom was 100% behind the shot to clears after the first quarter. And we're in the second quarter and it has quickly flipped. Peyton fakes the handoff. Dumps it off again underneath. And the flag is to Kiel Holmes had a ton of. And it looked like no argument whatsoever from the Norfolk State's Spartan sideline as well. So on first down back to the ground. Like that's a flag. Oh, that's yeah. a flag. Exactly. There's another flag. <laughs> But it's all in the name of player safety, and As it that's obviously be. the important thing. Again, they'll keep it on the ground on second down and short. Shauna clears their four of seven on third downs so far here this afternoon. A five-point lead. Handoff. This will be a first down easy <laughs> into Coastal Carolina territory. <laughs> in. He's coming out. He's he going to stay in. He wanted to get a break. He said, nope, get in there, son. You, you did good. It was wide open if he chucks it. Trick play. This is his receiver. Peyton rolling right this time. 
Got a man open, complete at the 30-yard line. Defensive line. That took time to develop, and they gave him time to throw it. Yeah, they rolled the pocket, but they still gave him time. No white shirts near him. From the 30, Peyton looks down the middle, instead goes to the right, and just out of bounds. And down to 10. Peyton to the left this time, and way too high. Tougher throw in a righty's buddy but the center. Which means the center was probably the one that was wrong. Of course. <laughs> he sure looked like he was. Third down and 15. Peyton hit as he throws. No flag on this one is Josh Bryce. And Bryce Carpenter now back in the game at quarterback. Fakes the handoff, keeps it himself, runs it up the middle. Pushes his way inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. 2017, Mr. Football in the state of Florida. Won a state title that year as well. Handoff to Marable, tackled from behind. Nice stop as he was caught from behind by Chris Myers. Third down and three. Carpenter, a quick look to the sideline. Keeps it, looking to pass, and just throws this one away. Smart play, safe field position. There's only two defenders out there, too. Now there's four offensive players. Carpenter in trouble, able to escape. And dives out of the 25-yard line, gets the first down. First half is Bryce Carpenter, the sophomore quarterback from Florida, stays in on this drive. Three receivers there, top of your screen. Carpenter takes off running up the middle and tripped up from behind. By the way, Coastal going on fourth down again on this drive. Now two for two today on fourth downs. Six for six on fourth downs in the last two games. Not bad. Look at this. Watch out. Reverse coming to the near side. Inside the 20. Still on his feet. And Offensive line's got to do the job. They've done well so far. Hairston, first down, inside the 20. And down to the 11. Targeting penalty was called against Allen Boykins for Norfolk State on the hits of C.J. Marable on the punt return. We haven't seen him since. There he is, C.J. Marable back into the game. That's great news. <laughs> Steps out of bounds. Right around. 118 left to play here in the first half. Highly goes in motion. Nobody with him. Carpenter looking to pass. Fires across the middle. Open into the end zone. And it's another touchdown. For to range of Biscardi. Fred Payton back in. Throws it left side. Incomplete. At least back there by himself. Just make a play. Everybody else is playing man. Marable goes off left side. Gets inside the 50. Inside the 40. And falls out of bounds on that far sideline. Just inside the tier. Already in range. First down and 10 from the 33. Payton with a ton of room to run. Instead passes at the last second. And it is caught. Timeouts left, but they're using the field to their advantage. Peyton looking over the defense. Fires complete again and out of bounds to stop the clock with 14 seconds left. Terrific. The big ones up front are doing a heck of a job. We just saw Isaiah Likely, number four, already with one touchdown catch. They love the tight ends in these situations. Peyton throws too high into the end zone incomplete. Is if they get a first down, they can stop the clock and then spike it. But I agree with what you just said. Yeah, they're going to have to go quick here. This has got to either be a touchdown. Well, this is not going to work. They're going to lose an opportunity here. All or nothing final play as Peyton dives towards the end zone. He's going to be sure. I know nothing about All that. these teams coming up with their turnover. Oh, yeah. Run up the middle. Inside the 25 yards. Make it second down and six here for Coastal. 
Fred Payton looks over to the sideline. Option to Marable. A lot of room on that left side. Picks up a block as well. And down close to the 10 yard line. Block him. That was Chris Myers. You just read him. Hence, read option. Marable trying to find some room. Squeezing through the middle. Able to take the. Now Harrison in the backfield. Three receivers to the right for Payton. Little pitch play to Harrison. A huge hole touchdown, Coastal Carolina. The line has done an amazing job for Deshaun to clear. And Mr. Biscardi is perfect for the day so far. So we'll see how that continues. Bryce Carpenter at quarterback, handoff on first down, and they'll pick up a first down inside Norfolk State. Tear close now to back to back 100 yard plus. Uh, games here for Coastal. You just saw number 51 slamming his hand into his fist the center like let's go coach to the sideline we can run it on these guys. Carpenter looking to pass and throws it way over the head of Javon Hiley. Down the road to see if they practice this kind of stuff. Second down and 10 again Bryce Carpenter in a quarterback. Little pitch play out to the left to Marable. And tackled just shy of the 40-yard line. Bring up for Coastal, 305 total yards of offense versus just 68 for Norfolk State. And now a third down situation here for Coastal. They're 7 of 12 on third down. Another pitch play to Marable. Runs into his own player right at the... I'm trying to improve to 2-1 and one on the season. Bryce Carpenter stays in at quarterback. Fakes the handoff, looking to pass down the middle into the end zone. Some contact. No flag. And second down and 10 for Coastal. Carpenter keeps it, finds room up the middle. Down to the 25-yard line and just enough for the in the first down category of today's game. 21 first downs for Coastal, two for North Ooh. State. Big difference. Carpenter takes off again, spins inside the 20. A pick up a five. Sam Thompson, 51, you see, I love him. 5'9, 280 in the middle. Spark plug is how you used to describe guys like that. Big spark plug. Carpenter. Keeps it, falls forward, picks up, and uh, just really missed it. Coaches talked to him and said, yeah, we want you back. And there he is back at left tackle. Trying to gain weight to get back to his original size. Lost a lot of weight. Hand off up the middle, trying to get to that first down. They Got him out of there. Looks like Harrison's in. Shauna clears are perfect on fourth downs this season. Six for six. And they got it again. Make it seven for seven. Inside the 10 yard line, down to the nine. Coming into the game. More in one game than he had the previous two. Carpenter keeps it. Fires on the left sideline. And just shot. Bryce Carpenter as well. We'll see if they give it to Marable. 100 yards on the day. Looking for his first score of the afternoon. They do give it to him. Marable trying to push the pile forward, and he is just shot. Guys up front, love it. Put a hat on a hat and give those one of those guys behind you a little bit of room. It's all you need. Again to Marable, and this time he is in. Touchdown, Coastal Care. And for Coastal, they are cruising along right now, trying to go to two and one coming off their. Historic win last week at Kansas. First ever win against a Power 5 school. Freddie Payton, Payton or just they, stick with both of them? They both know they're going to play, and they both have a different kind of package where um, Carpenter's more of the runner, but he threw the ball as well, too. So you got to prepare for two. Peyton now trying to throw the ball as well, but fires it too high left side. And the defense has played super today. 
Third down and 11 for Payton, looking to pass. Dumps it off, completes. And Coastal's going to be awfully close to... And big guys pulling out from the right side to help him out. So make it fourth down and two here officially for Coastal. And again, we apologize after the lightning in the area has taken out our graphics here on the screen. So we'll keep you updated on the down and distance and score. There's a first down inside the 20, inside the 10, and down to the six-yard line. Reese White, the freshman. Up. Making something happen, got the first down, and a lot more. Picked up his first career collegiate touchdown back in the first half, and now he's got his second. Touchdown, Reese White, the freshman, scores again. Some changes, it looks like, as been Pinson into the game for Coastal Carolina running back. And they give it to him as he's wrapped behind the line of scrimmage. Everybody a chance to play. Carpenter fakes the pitch, keeps other players to get some playing time. Call out of Indian Trail, North Carolina. Rolling out to buy some time and now takes off. Takes on a hit and rolls down at the 24-yard line. 24 for Coastal, 4 for Norfolk State. Well, we said in the open that Coach Chadwell was, con was happy with the way, not that they lost game one, but happy with the reaction from game one, came back to win game two. He didn't know how they'd react after winning a game. <laughs> and I feel bad for that and his mom and dad watching. Big hole up the middle. Wow. In so, so you don't know if you're going to get that opportunity later in the season. You definitely have it here in the fourth quarter, and he's taking advantage. McCall, nice pass, caught across the middle. The oh, offense yeah, exactly. is just owning it right now. McCall with the pitch. And it's been good down the sideline. Another freshman. He's either. They're running a bunch of different stuff. Obviously, he has paid attention. First and goal. McCall into the <laughs> end zone. Touchdown, Coastal Carolina. Jai Williams. <laughs> Power five school in school history. Believe, correct me if I'm wrong, Norfolk State got the ball three and out, and that was it. Three and out, and then, the game, yep. and then an interception on their fourth play yep. of the game. So they're, uh, they're growing pains, and that's a big step in the evolution of this team. Nice run right there. When it just does not matter who's coming into this game. And another new quarterback in for Coastal Carolina. All that work in the summer, all that work preseason. Two new quarterbacks got a chance to play. Nice option, nice read. Yeah, pitched at the last second, room to run, and out of bounds near the 50-yard line. Played really well. Carried Class is wearing number 18 in at running back. We saw him on the last play. This time just a quarterback keeper. Well, you can see Coastal Carolina... Second down and short here for Guest and the Shauna Clears. I think they got it. They had the cry. He'll say, you know, how are we going to react to this win? Because that's the nature of football coaches. But they played exceptionally well. They were ready. They had a crazy week last week. Not only that they went to Kansas to play, but they left campus on Monday, practiced.